Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the quantity of asphalt. So let's consider that this is any asphalt surface placed on top of the different layers. So we can see that there will be different kind of layers on which this asphalt has been placed. So let's consider that these are different layers. For example, the subgrade layer is placed at the bottom of the flexible pavement, then base, then sub base layer, and then we have base cores. So on top of these layers, we place the asphalt layer. So we are interested to find the quantity of asphalt in this flexible pavement. So this is the asphalt dimension given to us. The 15 meter is the asphalt breadth while 10 cm is the thickness of the asphalt and 4 km is this asphalt road. So we are given with the dimension, the problem is to find out the quantity of asphalt. So the first step is to find out the weight of asphalt and the weight of asphalt can be easily determined the weight of asphalt, that how much weight of asphalt is being used in this flexible payment. So it is equal to the weight of asphalt is equal to the volume of asphalt multiplied by the density of asphalt. So simple by using this formula density of asphalt. So by simply using this formula we can easily determine the weight of asphalt that how much weight of asphalt has been used in this flexible payment. Now we have two unknowns volume of asphalt and the density of asphalt. First to determine the volume of asphalt. So the volume of asphalt can be determined volume of asphalt will be equal to the length of asphalt multiplied by the breadth of asphalt multiplied by the thickness of asphalt. So the length of asphalt is 4 km. It is a 4 km long road. So this is in kilometer and we want to have all units in the meter. So we convert this into meter. So it will become 4000 meter. So 4000 meter is the length of the road multiplied by the breadth of the asphalt which is 15 meter multiply by the thickness of asphalt which is 10 cm so if we convert this 10 cm into meter we got 0.1 meter so 0.1 meter is the thickness of the asphalt now by multiplying these three we get 6000 cubic meter so this is the volume of asphalt used in this flexible payment now we have to find out the density of asphalt so the density of asphalt can be easily determined and the density of asphalt can be find out from the known fact sheet. So the density of asphalt is 2330 kilogram per cubic meter. This density of asphalt is from the known fact sheet. This is the standard value of the density of asphalt. So this is the density of asphalt and we know the volume of asphalt. Now just by multiplying these two quantities we will get the weight of asphalt. So weight of asphalt will become volume which is 6000 cubic meter multiplying it with the density of asphalt which is 2330 kilogram per cubic meter so cubic meter cubic meter will be cancelled so we got just unit of kilogram so we got 1398000 kilogram so this weight of asphalt is being used in this road now to find out the weight of asphalt in tons we just divide this by thousand because one ton is equal to the thousand kilogram so we will divide this by thousand so we get 13 980 tons so this amount of weight of asphalt is being used in this flexible payment if the length of the road is 4000 meter and the thickness is 0.1 meter and the width of the road is 15 meter Hope you guys understand how to find out the weight of asphalt and the unit of tons for a flexible payment with the given dimension. So this is the simple way to find out the weight of asphalt. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.